Hello friends, welcome to lecture series of theory of computation and we have already started with deterministic finite automata in previous session and will continue with some examples on the same topic that is deterministic finite automata. So in our today's uh, session we will have the example where we need to design a string over an alphabet 0, 1 such that the string will uh, have the number of ones which is the multiple of 3 and the second DFA we have to design for a number of ones not a multiple of 3. So these are the two uh, things which we have to uh, find out for the uh, or we need to draw the DFA for the given two statements. One is uh, where the number of ones is multiple of 3 and another the number of ones not multiple of 3. So let's have an, a definition. So we all know the DFA contains a phi tuple it, uh, in a uh, definition that is Q summation delta Q0 F where M is defined for as a DFA Q which is set of finite state summation set of finite input symbol delta transition function Q0 which is initial state F is the final state. We will complete this definition once our DFA is get completed. So uh, very first we have to think about the thing uh, which is applicable for this number of ones is multiple of three. So what is the different uh, terms over there that we need to find first. So number of ones multiple of three contains the zero time one, then three time one, six time one, nine time one likewise. So zero is also included that we need to think first. So if I want to say that in my string there are the zero number of ones. So what will be a minimum possible string? empty string, null string. So nothing is there. Means initially I have started at Q0 but no string is there. So my initial state itself becomes the final state. So there were no uh, number of ones at all. So this is what uh, we have the number of ones which is multiple of three that is the zero number of ones we have. Then in next condition uh, the number of ones is a multiple of three means any string we can form which is the combination of zeros and ones but the number of ones should be multiple of three. So this is the condition. The condition is only for the input one. So the string can be uh, like uh, we can say 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. So one, number of ones are three or 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So number of ones are six. So there is no restrictions on zero but the uh, count of one should be a multiple of three. So 0, 0 is also the string which is acceptable. So how it will become the 0, 0 string is acceptable. So you can accept the any number of zeros. But number of ones is here 0 time. Number of zeros can be any time. Okay. Now uh, if we think the number of ones is multiple of 3 means in the there were if 3 ones are available then what kind of string we can generate or how the DFA we can build. So Q1 from Q0 will take the first one. Then uh, for Q1, we will take the next one and we are coming to Q2. Now what is required? The third one is required. After accepting the third one, the DFA should reach to its final state. So how it is going to reach to the final state? So if we say the third one is getting at a Q2, means we are reaching at a final state again. Means this is the multiple of 3. So if we want 6, 1, we will start from here, 1, 1, 1. Again, next time 1, 1, 1, we have to continue. So this becomes the number of ones multiple of 3. At the same time, we have to think about the 0. So any combination of 0 in between any type of ones is allowed. So simply we can say the number of zeros are accepted over here, number of zeros are accepted over here. So it's a very simple that the 1 will be anywhere within the string. Only the thing is the count of 1 should be a multiple of 3. And in between any combination of zeros are acceptable. So self loop uh, says that the 0 times 0, 1 times 0, 2 times 0 likewise. So multiple zeros we can have uh, over here. So we can form any string where the number of ones is multiple of 3 here. Uh, here our DFA is completed as we, are, uh, we have our final state, initial state and all the input condition of uh, states are checked. Q0 done with 0, 1, Q1 done with 0, 1, Q2 is also done with 0, 1. Now what we need is to complete our definition first. So here uh, we have to say what are the finite state number of states are there. That is Q0, Q1, Q2. These are our three state set of input symbols 0 and 1. Two inputs we have transition function we are going to see for one string. Q0 
is my initial state and q0 itself my final state so this is what we have completed the definition now secondly we have to draw the transition table also so the dfa is already drawn over here and the transition table is uh, done so here q number of states we have to write vertically here and in columns we have to write down 0 and 1 that is what our alphabet so number of states on on a row and on columns will have 0 and 1 so q0 q1 q2 are our states where q0 is initial and q0 itself a final state so this is what the mentioned over here now q0 with 0 we are moving to q0 itself q0 with 1 we are moving to q1 q1 with 0 we are moving to q1 q1 with 1 we are moving towards q2 q2 with 0 the self state and q2 with 1 towards the q0 so this is the way transition table is ready now in the further thing we need to uh, process our uh, string also so we need to assume something like w say 10101 one. okay so here the number of threes are multiple uh, number of ones are multiple of three now we'll start with initial state q0 we'll take the first one and by q0 with one we are moving towards q1 then next state becomes the q1 next input symbol is 0 q1 with the 0 we have to move towards q1 then delta q1 will again will take the next one and q1 with 1 we are moving towards q2 then q2 with next 0 we have to remain in a self state that is the q2 and then q2 with last one we have to move towards Q0, which is my final state string is also finished we are reaching to final state means string is accepted uh, successfully now uh, for the same statement the number of ones is not a multiple of three and now we have to make its negation number of ones is not a multiple of three the second question uh, over here we have that is the number of ones is not a multiple of three so uh, here simply we, we are going to negate our dfa we have to do as we are negating the statement how let's see here the l which is nothing but our language what is the language we have we have to find out or we have to make such a string or we need to process such a string which is a combination of zeros and one such that the string is a multiple of three ones okay so the string is multiple of three ones multiple of three so it can be zero it can be a, one, a three it can be a six it can be a nine likewise if you want to do the complement of the given language L, so what will be the complement? The same way, L dash is nothing but the complement of the language L, where W is a string that will belong to the combination of zeros and 1, such that W is not a multiple of 3 ones. So here we are negating our statement. So what exactly we are going to do in our DFA? This is only the negation of statement or we can say the negation of language. Now for a DFA, there are the rules this is what we are looking at for the dfa so what is the rule rule one every final state of l means whatever the dfa we have designed for the language l means our previous dfa this is what our dfa so for this dfa every final state of that l should become a non-accepting means make a final state as a non-final and rule two every non-accepting state of l should become the final means we have to do simple one thing that the final state becomes the non-final and the non-final becomes the final this uh, change we have to do or this negation we have to apply on that dfa so very first we'll draw the dfa for the same uh, just same like previous q0 q1 q2 the same dfa is there only i will keep marking the final state okay so q0 q1 and q2 here it takes one and one and self loop of all zeros in between right now what we are we need to do here every final state of l become non-final so in our previous language where the uh, w is a multiple of three our final state is q0 so what we need to do now we, we don't need this q0 as a final state remaining state becomes the final so q0 will become the non-final so i will not mark q0 as a final and every non-accepting or non-final state become the final so here 
whatever the non final states we have in previous dfa that becomes the final and this was the final so we have to keep it as a non final so the small change we need to require here first we have to find for the positive statement then make its negation and just uh, do the changes in final and non final states so here our transition diagram the same diagram uh, is uh, drawn over here q1 and q2 are the final state here the transition table we have to mark the state and now we can see the two states are here as a final state q1 and q2 so q0 with 0 we are at q0 q0 with 1 q1 q1 with 0 to q1 itself q1 with 1 to q2 then q2 with 0 that is to q2 and q2 with 1 q2 so now we have to assume such a string which is not containing the number of ones as a multiple of 3 so 1 1 twice 1 is there which is not a multiple of 3 will uh, start processing the string so q0 will accept 1 that is the first symbol by accepting 1 it will move to q1 then at q1 we are going to accept the 1 and we are going to move towards q2 then at q2 will accept the next zero and will remains in a q2 itself and again at the q2 will accept the next zero and we are remaining in q2 itself as q2 is my final state as well as string is finished means we can say my string is correctly processed by drawn dfa so here the string processing we can see by using the transition function delta how the string is get processed which is contains uh, the number of ones not the multiple of 3 so uh, for this same kind of example the exercise example is given that here you have to find out the number of ones is a multiple of 4 and not a multiple of 4 or you can even take the number of zeros is not a multiple of 4 or number of zeros is not a multiple uh, or is a multiple of 4 so this is what the exercise question you can just uh, try on your side uh, in next session we'll have more example on the dfa keep watching thank you so much